<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide here in Borderlands Universe. This is the series where I go throughout the three Borderlands games and bring you guys um, a little pick of Easter eggs or secrets within the games and hopefully you guys don't know about it. Um, uh, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So, first we are here in Borderlands 1 and uh, today's easter egg is going to be part of the weapon, the Hellfire. Now, if we take a look at the red text on the Hellfire, it says, we don't need no water. So, this is a direct reference to the chorus of the song, The Roof is on Fire, by Rockmaster Scott, uh, in which the full chorus is, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. So that is uh, what they've put on the red text um, on the Hellfire submachine gun, the legendary Hellfire. Uh, so get yourself one of them and uh, yeah, raise some hell. So here is a uh, small clip of the chorus from that song. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. Burn, motherfucker, burn. Burn indeed. So for Borderlands 2, we're heading over to Iridium Blight. And uh, we're going to be having a look at one of the small bosses within this map. Uh, I say small bosses, he's not small, he's huge, but uh, he is a mini boss in the game. So if we head over this barricade here, the fast way, using the Gunzerka, we'll see a little guy spawning up here called King Mong. Uh, this guy is a huge ass bully Mong and a boss that drops the Badaboom rocket launchers. But this is a direct reference and an Easter egg for the classic. Uh, movies, books, uh, legend in fact, uh, that is King Kong. So uh, a lot of you will know who King Kong is, he's that giant, he's a silverback gorilla. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just a nice little way of putting this boss into the game and referencing the uh, the legend that is King Kong. So our Borderlands 2 Easter Egg today is King Kong. And for our final Easter egg today, we're in Tycho's Ribs, heading up one of the elevators that doesn't have a like force field shield around it. You will be able to pop through into this secret area here with this uh, very nice old style pixelated uh, art. And uh, for those of you that know the games really well, you will recognise this style of, uh, of block. It's not Minecraft, although it does look a bit Minecrafty, but it is the uh, Super Mario's Bros Easter Egg, in which you can get into a little secret room that you just saw there, uh, fight a load of enemies, that door will open, but you can also parkour your way up to the very top of the map. And this is the main part of the Easter Egg, as well as it being Super Mario Bros. Uh, you can actually jump on top of the map, run along the very top, and head down into a secret room. This is a, a very well-known cheat in the original uh, Super, Smash, uh, Super Mario Bros. Um, game in World 1 Level 1 where you could actually get on top of the map, run along the top of the map for a bit and drop down into like a secret uh, room where there's three little pipes that you can get into different areas and things like that from. So as you can see, you can't get into this room any other way apart from the top. And uh, yeah, that is a not only a Super Mario Bros Easter Egg, it's also uh, directly referencing uh, Stage 1 the sorry, World 1 Level 1 cheat that you could do running over the top and uh, heading down for these three pipes. So I will show you a clip of that right now. Wow, that does bring back some memories doing that. Uh, I hope I don't get copyrighted strike to hell for uh, that leaving that Mario music uh, in there, really. If I do, uh, I'll have to take it out probably. But uh, yeah, if not, then uh, it's good to hear that again as well. But uh, there you go, guys. That is another Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide. That was part 11. We covered the song uh, The Roof is on Fire, which was the Hellfire Red Text uh, in Borderlands 1. Then we went to Borderlands 2 and looked at the uh, the old legend that is King Mong um, and directly referencing King Kong. 
Uh, and then finally, a trip down memory lane to a nice big uh, area in Borderlands pre-sequel that tributed to Super Mario Bros, as well as that little extra secret reference to that little cheat to run along the top of the map. Uh, really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next episode.